My role in the cost action, the purple gain cost action, is that I'm leading the working group one, which is uh, relative to fundamental aspect of the uh, purple bacteria metabolism. And uh, I have been participating to multiple workshops and organizing, organizing some workshop this year for the purple gain cost action. In our laboratory at the University of Mons, we are studying the fundamental aspect of uh, carbon metabolism in purple bacteria. And my researchers are um, um, taking uh, research in fundamental aspect of this metabolism, so knowing how those bacteria are using the nutrient they can find, but also some applied research, notably to try to uh, develop processes to produce foods or pigments or bioplastic from purple bacteria. So it's difficult to point one single application of purple bacteria because there are many. The one we are more interested in for the moment in the lab would be probably the food production because this is the most challenging one. Producing food from purple bacteria will open completely new field of application. But there are many applications in which purple bacteria can be used for wastewater treatment, for resource recovery, for production of high added value component. But if I would have to select one, I would select the food application. So I think the purple gain uh, cost action has been very efficient in opening new network and opening doors of people working with purple bacteria in Europe. My students have been able to uh, participate to researches during internship in lab all over Europe. Um, I have been in contact with many researchers uh, on purple bacteria and so I think we have created a very solid and very efficient network of researchers that will now be capable to uh, propose uh, European research, European project that will clearly increase the activity of research in purple bacteria world.